Hi there, and welcome back. Well, today we're going to continue our beginner series for Home Assistant, and this time we're going to start looking at dashboards, one of the critical components when having a look at the information and controlling it within your smart home. Now, Home Assistant dashboards have come a long way since the early days when you had to use YAML coding for everything. If you're like me and you don't want to use YAML, they are now even available to be done with drag and drop. So you can see by some of the demonstrations that they show here on the Home Assistant page that you can actually do all sorts of things if you just take a little bit of time, fiddle around, and sometimes you need to download some custom integrations from the Home Assistant community store. So in order to start with your dashboard journey, you need to take control. So this dashboard over here is the Home Assistant default dashboard. And basically what it's doing is taking all the sensors and all the data that it can find within Home Assistant and just throwing it up on the screen. As you can imagine, it gets really messy. So the first thing we want to do is go to the top right here, edit, click on the three dots and then take control. So this means now that we're going to start with an empty dashboard and take control. Now, the way that our dashboard boards work is that we've got our dashboard listings on the left hand side. So the basic ones that come with Home Assistant is first of all the overview, then we have the map, and we have the energy dashboard. But we're going to start here with the overview. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go along to settings, and we're going to go down to dashboards, and then we're going to create a new dashboard. And we're going to say a new dashboard from scratch. So we select the dashboard and we'll call this, for example, our tablet dashboard. Now we can select an icon and let's see if we can find something that looks like a tablet. Not really. I'll just use that funny little thing over there. Um, this is the URL, so you can use that to access this dashboard. If you selected admin only, it would only allow the admin person to see it. Show on sidebar is going to show it over here. So we're going to go create. So now we click on our tablet dashboard. And what we want to do now is we want to create a new view within this. So we click on the edit and then we go plus. So the view we might say is a bedroom, for example, bedroom view. And let's see if we've got a simple little icon there we go bedroom uh, we could select a theme we don't have any themes at the moment these can be downloaded later sub views allow you to have an additional expandable section within that view now down here this is the traditional one the masonry view and you also had the sidebar and panel but the new one that we're going to look at today is the sections view and this is the drag and drop view which i really like because it's just so easy to lay out your different entities on your dashboard with this view, we can select how many sections wide it is. I'll stick with four, and we can go for a dense segment placement if we want to. Now, if we look at the top here, we've got a background, so we can upload a picture, for example, or a web URL to actually appear in the background of our dashboard. And visibility, currently, I'm the only user in this system, so it's making it visible for you, for me. But if you had multiple users, you could select which users would see which view. We go save, and now we can start adding our entities. We press the plus button, and now we can either add them by card type or by entity. So for example, let's start. I'm going to add my bedroom light, but I also want to add a bedroom strip. So there we go, we go continue, and it's given us two, it's selected the right card, and we can just go add to dashboard. So if we close that, for example, we can now see we can adjust the light, we can also turn the bedroom strip on and off, but if we click on the bedroom strip over here, we can actually adjust the brightness, or we can change the color, because that one is an LED strip. So let's go back and edit that, and we will call this section the lighting section. And we'll give that an icon once again for a light. Next, I want to show the CO2 in the bedroom. So I'm going to go along and create another section. And this time I'm going to search by a gauge because I want to have a specific 
type of entity. I'm going to search for carbon. There's my carbon dioxide sensor and we'll call this CO2 and the unit is PPM. There we go. And we now want to select the minimum. So the minimum for this one is 350 and the maximum is 1500 parts per million. We want to show the little gauge like this and we want to um, define the severity. So I'm going to say green is from zero, yellow is going to be from 700 and red is going to be anywhere from a thousand upwards and we're going to save that. Next I'm going to add a media player. So I'm going to select a, a media card. There we go. And the media player I want is this dining, uh, bedroom home pod. There we go. We save that. Now, the beauty of this drag and drop is that we can actually take this. I can pull this over here and I can pull it into that section if I want to. And there we go. Now you'll see I've got an extra section over here. I just want to edit. We'll get rid of that. Delete and save and there we have our bedroom our lighting music and our air quality so i hope that's been useful a very basic introduction to home assistant dashboards and please let me know in the description in the comments below what your thoughts are and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now